Hey guys, it's the Kevin Owens Show here, and today I will be doing a review on NXT TakeOver San Antonio. So, this has literally happened a few, um, well, probably over 10 hours. Stupid pigeons. And, um, I really found this a really good event. Now, that's why I wanted to do a review on it, so this is basically my first review on a an event on NXT and WWE. So this shall go this should go um well. <laughs> so the first match was Ty Dillinger versus Eric Young w- w- with Sanity. So this match um was a well-paced opening match and these guys well did well, good energy. Dillinger was a great face here, and, well, almost beat Eric Young, and my, um, predictions were Eric, uh, um, um, Ty Dillinger, but Eric Young had won. So, yeah, pretty interesting, it was a good match. I'd probably go with, out of ten, that match would be about, um, a perfect ten, I'm joking. <laughs> That'd be about mm, a seven. It was a well-paced opening match. Great, good match. So after that, we have Roderick Strong versus Andrade Cien Almas. Now this is also another good match. Uh, it was pretty slow-paced and fast-paced at the same time because Andrade could do that type of stuff, and Roderick Strong can also do that stuff, but. Also was a bit slow paced. So <laughs> So it was a really good match. Well what I thought so it was well well paced and that stuff. I I could um see the match. Like it's not one of those matches where everything just goes boom 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 and there we go. Oh and that happens and that happens and that happens and everything is happening. This was like clear to see, so I could see stuff that was happening, and um, well, great stuff. And in fact, Michael Hayes was in the crowd in this mo- at, after this match, and same with Samoa Joe, sitting at ringside. So after this, we have what I thought was an amazing, excellent match. Um, we have. Tommaso Champion Johnny Gargano, aka D hashtag DIY, versus the Authors of Pain. Well, I'm gonna say my predictions. Well, actually, um, I'll do that after. So, Authors of Pain destroying J- Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Champion, and that w- that that was one I expected, but I didn't really expect that much um of fighting back. Like DIY managed to. Get them, got get them huge guys down, like by just doing some DDTs and super kicks, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's that's really um, and that's really um pretty interesting and well exciting. But I did go with DIY. I went with also pain, and that's why I'm freaking happy. And um, uh, my expectations was just a normal one of those. Just WWE tag team matches and like the pre show of I don't know, Hell in a Cell or something, but um, it turned out really good. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't expect this. And after we had a surprise, um, surprise, uh, what do you call it? Surprise return, I guess. Seth Rollins came and said he took over the show. He knows Triple H is, was there, so he called him out. Triple H arrived and then sent his security after Rollins. Cl- well, Rollins did clear them out, but but Mo arrived and took him away. Very unexpected. And that's why I like this event. So after we had the fatal four-way NXT Women's Championship match between Asuka, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, and Nikki Cross. What the hell is that noise? <laughs> so I wasn't well. I didn't find this match too exciting at a few times. Like sometimes it'll just become 
pretty boring at times. Yeah, we had that sort of like double team to win the title thingy, like Peyton Royce and Billy Kay teaming up, and Nikki Cross and Esco were just single and that stuff. It's not what I want to watch all the time. I do like tag team matches, but I don't really want like those one on one on one on one matches, the Fatal Four Way matches with people teaming up. In my opinion, it doesn't make the match better. But although we did have um, Asuka retain the title, and well, basically, what I didn't like about this match was that the ending was rushed and came like from out of nowhere and it just ended a bit like it was a f- short match, like only nine minutes long. It could have been a bit longer, and um, yeah, like I said, the ending was way too rushed and out of nowhere like we were just expecting a kick out or something like that but anyway that's okay because after we had match of the night Bobby Roode and Shinsuke Nakamura so Roode had the uh, Bobby Roode had this sort of Ric Flair entrance with a bunch of women in, <laughs> in his like weird robe thing yeah, I don't know but it's no surprise uh, the, ch- the crowd is obviously going to sing Nakamura's theme. <laughs> so there we go, starting the match. Really long match. How much that? It went over, over time, I believe. So, um... I thought that the match had some r- really good near falls told a pretty good story and that stuff and mm, it was pretty good well I'm pretty happy that Bobby Roode won not because I that was my predictions but no, not, not that was because of my, my that, not <laughs> I can't even fucking speak English not because that was my prediction but it's because we needed a new champion but I don't want Shinsuke Nakamura going up to the main roster already. He only came in April. And everybody's like, oh, I want to see Shinsuke Nakamura in the main roster, like on SmackDown or Raw, oh, and then Rum- and I also want him in the Royal Rumble. Oh. And I feel like Shinsuke Nakamura should just be a bit like Sami Zayn or Finn Balor, and just stay for a while and have some rivalries with like I don't know, um, Billy Kay or something. <laughs> I'm joking. Why would he? He might, he might, he just might do a Kinshasa on, Kinshasa on Salma, but that is fine. So, pretty good, pretty good, um, event. <laughs> so, I rate this, um, event a 9 out of 10 pretty good amazing so for a takeover event the buzz was low due to the build not being very strong and and the fear that some of the matches would not deliver but I am glad to say that this ended up as a hell of a show with everything being at the very least good three must have must see matches and the authors of pain stepping in the tag tag title match this is a must see show I love the wrestling Great work there. I got this from 411mania.com. If you want to check their websites out, they do good reviews and news and that stuff. That's all good. That's all good. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a great way to start off with the first NXT TakeOver and WWE event. Apart from Raw and SmackDown, which are just shows and that stuff. So this is a really good way to start off 2017, as we have um, more events coming soon. We have NXT TakeOver Orlando and WrestleMania Royal Rumble, which is tomorrow. Well, actually, it's tonight, sorry. I'm excited for it. I'll be watching it with my family. No need for reactions and that stuff. But I'm really hoping for um, more NXT events to be great. I'm really excited for the Authors of Pain's future, 
and storylines with DIY, the revival maybe. But I'm assuming the revival could be called up to the main roster, or there will be a really good match between the Ozzy of Pain and the Riv- revival. I can see um, a few um, rivalries with um, the White family and Ozzy of Pain. It would be really good to see. Not expecting any other rivalries at the moment, but I'm just excited for any call ups and any NXT superstars, which I'm really excited about. (laughs) So I might just end the video right here, or actually, I'm gonna just say my predictions. So, at the first match, which is Eric Young versus Ty Dillinger, I went with Ty Dillinger, but Eric Young won. So that's. 0-1 Zero one at the moment for predictions. The next match I went with Almas, but Roderick Strong won. So I have to win every prediction from now on. And um, so that's zero two at the moment. And then the next match, which is Authors of Pain versus DIY, which I'm really happy about. I love the Authors of Pain. Don't know why no nobody likes them. Well, nobody did in the event. They were like booing them. I love these guys. They're gonna have a real good future in WWE. So that's one two. And then we have Asuka, who won the the Fatal Four Way match, which is two two. I have to win this next prediction, which I did. I predicted Bobby Roode instead of Shinsuke Nakamura, and he won, which is absolutely fantastic. Great booking for Shinsuke Nakamura and Bobby Roode in the future. And the title can finally be glorious. No, it's it's not gonna be. Well, there's no change to the title. It's just it's just gonna be in the NXT title. Some things are gonna happen to it. So maybe some superstars could go from WWE to Smack to NXT, which I which should happen. Like people who aren't getting pushes, like James Ellsworth or something, should just go to NXT and just do some real good matches. You know. Like, um, any jobbers like, um, the VOD villains, they should go back to NXT and compete for titles, riv- rivalries, and, and really, we need more, they need to, they need to be more superstars in NXT. That's the problem with NXT, because there's not going to be any new matches, it's going to be Asuka versus uh, this person, this person, not much to say, and then... We have no idea who Asuka's next opponent is going to be, but Asuka needs to be defeated in Orlando. Which is nearly a year for holding the title, surprisingly. So, uh, that'll be the end of this TKO talk. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time on uh, probably um, tomorrow when I... Well, when I um, I can't even when I review the Royal Rumble. Check my predictions video, which is the first TKO talk. The playlist will be in the description below. It will just be on my channel, okay? I'm not gonna put it in the description because I'm that lazy. All right, thank you. Goodbye.